What's up collectors? Got a stack of four TTMs to show off today. Some pretty cool ones, so we'll get right to it. First one is one of one, free, took 29 days. This one's a pretty cool one because it is the first football return that I've ever got. So we got Mr. Archie Manning. I think this is a 1981 Topps Super Action. Got this in a big stack of cards, so I, I decided, you know, I'd send out a football card. Um, Archie Manning played from 71 to 84. Two-time Pro Bowler, Saints Hall of Famer. Drafted four times, actually, as a baseball player. I thought that was pretty cool. Attended Old Miss. He's got his number retired there. Um, during his 10 seasons on the Saints, he only had one winning season, but nevertheless, he was pretty well respected as a football player. Uh, I'm sure we all know father to Peyton and Eli, and now grandfather to Arch, who just committed to play for the Longhorns, I believe. So a pretty cool one to kick off my football collection with. Happy to get that one back. A little dark on his Saints uni, but cool still. Next one was three of three free nine days and he answered some questions first questions that i have sent out just started doing them this one is mr dave tobik save the questions for last let's check out the cards got him on the 79 tops his rookie card got him on the 81 tops for my set and get them on an 84 tops. Read those questions last. Uh, give you a little information on Dave. He was a pitcher for Detroit, Texas, and Seattle. Finished with a 14 and 23 record, 3.7 ERA, and 256 strikeouts. Let's check out these questions. I said, What athlete inspired you most as a kid? He said, Bill Glass, who was a defensive end for the Cleveland Browns. Bill Glass, I looked him up. He played from 58 to 68, played college at Baylor, is in the College Hall of Fame. He played in the NFL uh, for both the Lions and Browns as a defensive end. He won uh, the NFL championship with the Browns at 64. He was a four-time Pro Bowler, so pretty cool player to look up to, I'm sure. And I said, what was your most memorable moment during your career? He said, getting called up to the big league, so awesome to answer those questions thank you mr dave tobik next we get a three of three free took 29 days oops we got mr daryl evans pretty awesome got him on the 81 got him on the 85 Got him on the 76. Pretty sure those are his numbers. 11, 41, 41. Not 100% sure, but that makes sense. Um, give you a little background on Daryl Evans. He played from 69 to 89. He was a two-time All-Star World Series champ in 1984. He was the 85 AL home run leader. He had a career batting average of 248. He finished up with 2,223 hits, 414 home runs, 1,354 RBI. And historian Bill James rated Evans as the most underrated player in baseball history. I tend to agree looking at those stats. Never got a chance to see him play. But, uh, you know, the stats speak for themselves. Pretty awesome. All right, last but not least, we got a five out of three. Free, only took 10 days. We got Mr. Jimmy Williams, manager. I'll show those ones off later. Let's check out the cards first. We got them on the 88 tops, Blue Jays. Looking a little, uh, I don't know, what's the word? Bored, maybe? Got him on the 87. Got him on the 89. I wrote in my letter, Jimmy, I wish I had a Red Sox card. So what a nice guy. Threw in a headshot there. Pretty cool. And uh, another, I'm not sure what these are from. 
I'm not sure if he trimmed them. It looks like he might have trimmed them a little bit to fit him in the envelope, but uh, just really nice to do that. So thank you, Jimmy Williams. Jimmy Williams was a player. He played just 66 and 67, but most notable his career as a manager, 86 to 2004. He coached for the Blue Jays, the Red Sox, and the Astros. He was also a third base coach for a few other teams. Um, he finished with a managerial record of 910 wins and 790 losses. Uh, for me, my most notable memory was the 1990 nine season and uh we made it to the alcs heartbreaking loss against the yankees but really in my lifetime at least was kind of the start of uh the really heated rivalry between the yankees and red sox um so uh, i always have a special spot in my heart for jimmy williams um even though he left boston um you know nah less than loved i guess i would say um but really cool awesome returns happy to get them back thanks to all those guys who signed guys let me know who is your favorite here um take care peace thanks